This is Apple's iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I have put together some of the best cases around. Here is more than 100 cases for Apple's iPhone 15 Pro Max. Use the chapter markers to jump between brands, and if you want to pick up any for yourself, check out the links down below in the description. Let's start right here with one that's really unique. This one is from Carved. As the inside denotes, each of these are one of one because they're using real wood in the manufacture of these cases, so none of them will look exactly the same. You have the real wood on the bottom as well as this resin pattern here at the top. Uh, the one that I picked out has kind of like an Ohio State vibe, like this scarlet and gray look to it. Don't anyone bring up the game. But I think it looks really cool. Let's go ahead and snap it on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Goes on nice and easy, secure fit. We do have a cutout for the action button, but it's shallow, so it's still really easy to press. So while we're looking at the phone, I can just press that button and pull up my shortcuts menu, which is what I have it programmed to do. Other than that, we have these really grippy sides. There's extra grips going down there, easy access to the bottom, a large cutout on that USB-C port, so most of your cords should work. And we have a little bit of a raised edge around the cameras to help protect them when you have your phone set uh, with the camera side down. This is the carved case for iPhone 15 Pro Max. Sticking with natural materials, this case is from Andar called the Aspen. So this Aspen case, super soft touch microfiber lining, has metal buttons there on the side, including covering the action button, which you don't see that often in a lot of these cases. So these ones are still kind of launching. They were up for pre-order last I checked, but actual metal button for the action button there on the side and a metal ring around the camera bump. That's something that Apple's leather cases or what, what used to be Apple's leather cases didn't even have. So I really like that extra accent there. Super nice leather around the outside, all full grain leather. We have access to the ports on the bottom. Yeah, this is a great slim leather case from Andar called Aspen. Good thing we're getting this up before the holidays. This is one of the many patterns that you can pick up from Casely. Casely has a ridiculous amount of patterns, not just these cool holiday ones. Uh, my favorite is their new Beatles one that launched. It's in my iPhone 15 Pro video, I believe. Um, but yes, yeah, so nice printing all around the outside. It even goes around the edges, which is not something you see super frequently. Uh, there are nice buttons here, very clicky. There is a cutout for the action button, not my favorite. Hopefully new design coming soon on that part. We have rubber on the bottom here, so it's going to protect against falls if it should come down, you know, this way. We have raised lip around the camera bump there, more of the rugged TPU there towards the top. Just a lot of fun cases, what you're going to get from Casely. And yes, this is MagSafe compatible, uh, like pretty much all the cases, unless I say otherwise in this video. Got two cases to check out from Mouse. So first is their clear case, which I think looks fantastic. It raises up like it's thicker towards the top and the bottom edges. So it's thicker here and down here um, just to add more protection for falls. If you've seen mouse before, you've probably seen their ridiculous uh, like YouTube ads where they're throwing these things into the air like as high as they can and their phones are not breaking. So it's pretty impressive if those ads are actually real. I'm not going to be throwing my phone to find out. Uh, there is a lanyard anchor here on this lower left hand side here. MagSafe compatible. You can see we have this extra lining in there. That's going to help for that drop protection, add more impact resistance to it. I like the look of this clear one quite a bit, but the second one I have is their latest version of their Limitless case. Limitless cases, they're always the most popular. Has different materials on the back. I've seen them in wood and leather. This is like this nylon, like soft touch that feels kind of cool. Um, this is their Atlantic blue colorway, but again, still thick on top and bottom, make it more protective. You got grips going down the sides, anchor spot there if you want to attach a lanyard or anything like that. Sleek case, super protective. The limitless case from Mouse. Couldn't be a case roundup without spec, now could it? Here's the latest Presidio Pro 2 from Spec. So iPhone 15 Pro Max case here. You can see we have these kind of air ridges down the side that's gonna give it more impact protection. So as it falls, it's able to kind of collapse a little bit. That air is basically kind of like a pocket in there. And it's especially around all of the corners. These are really nice durable cases. They're calling this internal stuff cloud armor, I believe, because it is a really light, thin case, but it has up to 13 feet of drop protection is what they are saying. Of course, you can see supports MagSafe there. I love the darker colorway here. This blue looks really sleek. We have protection around the camera bump, gray accents for the buttons, and we do have a physical button 
on the camera bump looks great there. This is also covered in Microbon, which is like a uh, antimicrobial coating to help keep germs off of it. So yeah, the latest Presidio 2 Pro case from Spec. Two cases from Blackbrook, formerly Berkeley, if you happen to recognize that Bison logo. This is a brilliant case here, just packing in all of the features. So if you are on a call, you can actually leave your iPhone inside and take it through the folio. There's little cutouts here at the top so you can still hear who you are talking through, talking to through the folio just while it's completely closed. Uh, of course, you have full access to the cameras on the back so you can take photos and everything while they're in this pretty fairly chunky looking case, but fret not, because once this thing opens up, you can see we have four card slots here, including for an ID. So you have plenty of space to store things, including a pocket for cash, business cards, receipts, anything like that. So you have all this storage in here, but if this is too much, that you're looking at that as too thick of a case for you, you don't have to worry because this is magnet compatible and the phone comes right out. So you can set your folio and your wallet aside keep going with just this minimalistic, really nice leather case. So do think these things look great. It's a very light color. I think I'd like my colors a little bit darker for these cases, but we have a ramp right here around the camera bump. Usually you see like a plastic ring maybe. This is all leather going up to there, which is a nice little touch. The leather wraps all the way around to the inside, full access to your side button here, as well as to your other buttons, volume rocker and the action button. So no physical buttons cover them, which means you have the great tactile feel. And when you're dropping, you're probably not gonna drop it in that awkward position. So I don't mind these cutouts. I actually think it makes them feel really nice and kind of sleek in your hand. We also have openings on the bottom. So the corners are protected. So you're still getting protection there, but full access here. What I've noticed with a lot of cases is that they put these cupboards on the bottom and so many USB cords don't fit in them. So this allows you to use basically any USB-C cord because there's no hole that it has to fit through on the case. So I like that here. Solid, solid case. Here, pop it back in, boom, good to go. Got a whole folio setup. But if you need more storage, like that's not enough. This is another option from Blackbrook. So all their cases come in these sleek little like velvet bags. Slide this thing out. It's like this burnished leather that looks so nice. And this one is a thick case right here because not only do you have your phone case in here, you have a trifold wallet. Look at all of this. You're gonna fit like eight cards as well as that cash receipt business card pocket. So tons of pockets up front, literally double folds over. And then you have your phone in the back. And yes, it still comes out. So you can use just the phone case with this burnished leather on the back, TPU sides to be nice and protective. A Little bit more of like a plastic case. I like the feel of the all leather one but this is so cool, like this is great. And then just the most, I've never seen a case with so much storage on the inside. Absolute winner right here if you need more storage in your iPhone case. Couple sweet products from dbrand. dbrand and its team of robots have come out with this, which is their grip case and I am loving it. So couple things to check out here. Let's go ahead and pull it out from the box. It's got a great, feel to this case. They're also known for their clear one that will like never clear. That thing has been uh, just flying off the shelves this year, but it got like this textured spot here and then smooth. So it gives really nice grip on the sides of this case. I know it's a little bit hard to see because it's so black, but it looks fantastic. It also tapers up here towards the top. Like if you can see it on camera a little bit, it like raises up around this edge as it goes to give it more protection around the top and around the camera. I love this matte black to the back of it. Looks super sleek, easily depressible buttons there. Supports MagSafe, got a nice microfiber lining in there. Slap our phone on the inside. There is my iPhone inside of this grip case, 15 Pro Max. Grips down the sides, lots of protection easily depressible buttons, including physical cover for the action button. You can see I just pressed right there. Really cool case. If you're not looking for a case from dbrand, check this out. They slotted these in here for me. These are their skins. They have leather skin. So this is their leather skin. Covers the back of the phone as well as the camera modules. Really uh, slim, thin leather you can put on. There is this one here, which is like their transparent one so you can see everything that is going on inside of the phone very cool i love the looks of these 
There's even this bonus one here, which frankly looks like it just goes like on a MagSafe charger just to see the coils on the inside. I like it. Kind of a darker look for all the MagSafe chargers out there with those bright white pucks. By the way, Dbrand also makes uh, screen protectors as well. So check these out, just an easy add-on if you're already picking up their case. Uh, screen protectors in the box, nice little squeegee to help put things on instructions, all the stuff that you need to know uh, for screen protectors for your iPhone 15 Pro Max. Hey, did you know uh, UAG made cases? First is the Metropolis LT. This one boasts 18 feet of drop protection and has the MagSafe magnets in the back. This one though is also using Kevlar. So that fabric like material that you're seeing there is actual woven Kevlar on the back of this case and it's like a dark green color. I think it looks really cool. This one feels great in the hand. Anchor points down here on the bottom if you're liking to include a, a lanyard of any sort. You can see one here on that corner and that corner. Pretty nice preference. Nice big opening there for the lightning cable or the, uh, sorry, USB-C cable on these guys. So no matter which one you have, it should work well. There's a cutout, not my favorite, but they do keep it nice and slim there so it's easy to press the button. Some of them are a little deep. This one feels pretty solid. But yeah, this is the Metropolis LT. Then there's the Civilian Case. This one's even lighter, feels great. This is a dark blue color with black sides, like a two-tone look to it. I dig it, dig it a lot. Uh, MagSafe support there, still buttons, cut out for the action button, always not the favorite. Openings on the bottom is great. This one a little bit more drop protection. This one goes up to 20 feet, whereas the Metropolis LT was at 18. This case is the Essential Armor case, 15 feet of drop protection, MagSafe on the inside. This is probably the most like light and flexible of the ones I've seen from UAG. Snaps on really easy. Nothing fancy here. It just has a kind of this modern, durable, rugged look, but 15 feet of drop protection is like, is still very high. Usually we're seeing like eight, 10, 12 feet, 15, great. So I see what they mean with like essential armor. It's just kind of basic, which is that essentials line, but still really protective. No fancy materials, just one single piece, but MagSafe, good drop protection, essential armor case. Here is the UAG Unurban, here's the UAG Urban Armor Gear Plyo case. Clear style case, this one's very dark looking, but you can still see that Apple logo on the inside. You know, depending on the lighting situation, looks great, has a kind of rubbery material to it, rubbery feel to it, not quite like as sticky as like a silicone case would feel, but still kind of rubbery feeling. I love this copper look. I think the copper of the coil for MagSafe matches really well with the dark kind of tinted body of this case. So Plyo from UAG. Plasma case. Unlike the rest of the ones we've looked at so far from UAG, this one does not support MagSafe. You can see there's no rings there in the center. It's a combination of clear on the back with kind of like TPU material around the edges for drop protection. We're looking at 16 feet here. So kind of uh, on the higher end, still UAG is just always gonna be durable. I like the looks of this, looks really cool. If you're not using MagSafe, you can use wireless charging, I believe with this, but MagSafe's gonna be a no-go, but still a cool looking case. Three options of the UAG classic Monarch case. So these two here are just the regular Monarch using different materials. So this one here is using uh, Kevlar on the inside. So woven Kevlar there on the back. It's got like this copperish green color to it with these bright orange accents. I dig this. I think it would look great, you know, wearing an Apple watch at the same time. I really like the look of this case. No MagSafe support here in this version or the other version. So the other one that I have here, this is carbon fiber. So woven carbon fiber in there, carbon fiber and Kevlar, two versions of your standard Monarch. Both of those versions of Monarch give you 20 feet of drop protection, but here is the Monarch Pro. And this one, it goes up to 25 feet of drop protection. Plus, as you can possibly tell, it's got support for MagSafe. This is arguably one of their coolest cases. I mean, look at that. So carbon fiber in the back, MagSafe support. You've all these different materials, like from a TPU outer edge to the materials there, you have like physical screws holding it all together. I think it looks really cool. An updated version of their classic design that I think got them really popular. I've turned on my torch and I did not mean to here in Control Center. Uh, but yeah, this is the updated Monarch Pro 25 feet of drop protection. This is the last one to look at from UAG. Basically same case in a few different styles. This one's got almost like a modern camo look to it. It's like shimmery. Depending on the light, it kind of just tints a little bit. 
I think this looks very neat. Uh, we have the clear one here. It reminds me a little bit of the Plyo case uh, because it is clear, but it does have MagSafe here. So I'd prefer this one. And it's got 18 feet of drop protection in all of these. Then there's a matte black version all with MagSafe, all 18 feet of drop protection, and these are also using recycled materials in them at the same time. So lots of benefits to the Pathfinder series from UAG. Also, UAG has screen protectors. Uh, also, it's a really cool background on this phone. This version is antimicrobial and anti-reflective, so it's kind of like a matte look to it. I love the black edges, makes it blend in really well. But yeah, screen protector from UAG. An excellent leather option from Bullstrap. And also came with a sticker. I like stickers. I think this is cool. These are seriously hard cases to make and I don't think a lot of people realize it. So what you're seeing here is just a full leather case. And I mean, everything about it is wrapped in leather. So we have the camera up here wrapped in leather. Apples would even cheat and put a plastic ring here. Uh, Andar went with a metal ring, which looks great, but bullstrap here, full leather ring around there. We have metal buttons down the sides, including for our action button there. So something we don't see in all the cases we're looking at. And they have an open bottom, which I prefer. It makes it easier to connect other cables because you don't have anything blocking the way uh, or the speakers or anything. So I love that. Inside, really nice microfiber lining. These are amazing cases. And they've got this whole like lifetime warranty, I believe. I hope that's correct, as I just said it in this video. Uh, but wow, this is easily one of my favorite cases. And it's so hard to do that full wrap of leather all the way around without putting a TPU frame there uh, where you'd have like black sides and leather on the back. I think this is the look to go for. It's super hard to do. These look great. Another easily of my favorite leather cases for the iPhone 15 Pro Max from Bullstrap. Two cases from OtterBox. First is an updated version of the OtterBox Symmetry case. This is ultra slim and has an ultra silky smooth finish on the outside that really does feel nice, not sticky or anything like a silicone case may be. You can see the MagSafe ring there on the center, full coverage. They say this is three times the military drop test standard, so it should be quite a durable phone case. On the bottom, anchor points on the corners if you want to attach a lanyard of any sort, uh, and we'll see in a few of our other cases coming up. So this is the updated ultra slim symmetry case for Modderbox. Then this is the Otter Grip. Check this out. So first, it supports MagSafe. So if you have a MagSafe charger, this case will still work, but right here in the back of it, uh, completely slim and flush is this grip. It just pops right out and you can slide your finger in there and you're not gonna drop your phone. I love this, it rotates around so you can hold it from any angle. Super helpful with these grips. If you're like taking photos in a precarious spot, you're trying to lean, you can still hold onto your phone safely with that grip in there and when you're done, it just pops right back into place. I love it. This is so cool. Uh, interestingly, this is I'm wondering if this is replacing like their Otter Pop line that built in pop sockets uh, into the back. And I mean, the big benefit here is like we have full MagSafe support. I mean, that's that's killer. You get the grip and MagSafe all in one. Should be mentioned, they do offer premium glass drop plus screen protectors. I always recommend screen protector. I use these on my phone, even if I'm not using a case, uh, always use a screen protector. So they do have them. We've got one, two, three cases from Mujo. I'm just gonna show you my favorite one first and get it out of the way, then we'll talk about the other two. So this is the dark tan full leather case from Mujo. You can see on the inside, really nice Japanese microfiber lining, Mujo name, and our MagSafe designator. Like a couple of the others, they do have a full wrap of leather, so it actually comes down the inside of these cases. Not something you see super often, and only a few companies, including Apple, were able to pull off with their leather cases. It fits my iPhone like a glove, super snug fit here. We do have physical buttons on the side, including one for the action button. They're anodized to color match, not just dark buttons, they actually match the color of the case that you get. So in this case, dark tan, we've got some dark tan brown buttons to go with. We do have metal right here around the camera bump, anodized to match the buttons. So another nice premium touch to this. The only thing I don't like is I think the port on the bottom is a little small. It just depends on the cables that you use. It was a little tight in some of the ones I had. I might prefer a full opening on the bottom, but it's going to be very user dependent. So just something to be aware of. Other than that, this is my favorite of the Mujo cases, but the other two are pretty swell as well. Let's check them out. This is the Mujo Classic wallet case. So you have your iPhone case with MagSafe support in there. So there is MagSafe. I love the dark blue color here, uh, Monaco blue they call it. Um, but what's different is it has this angled patch on the back 
and that's where you can slot in uh, credit card, business cards, whatever it is. So you basically have a wallet on the back of your case. These were really popular for a while, but they fell out of favor, at least with me, because of MagSafe support. So if you want to charge this with MagSafe, you have to remove your cards first, then place it on the charger. So for that reason, it's no longer the top of my list, but same build quality, just with an integrated wallet on the back. Um, if you don't want an integrated wallet, Mujo, as well as many others, do offer MagSafe leather wallets to go with your phone. Okay, finally, this is the newest style from Mujo. This is called their Shield Case, and I will admit that I don't love it. This is not my style of case, but it may be yours. So this is in steel blue, so it's a very dark blue-gray color. We do have uh, elevated camera ring here. It's made out of plastic instead of metal. We do have anchor points on the bottom left and the bottom right to attach a strap if you'd like to. But the biggest thing here is that it's not a full leather case. So there is leather down the back. This is full grain, vegetable tan leather, same as other cases, but it's only on the back of the case, which is kind of like a standard TPU body around it. Um, the sides are concave, which does give added grip to this, which is nice, but it's going to be more protective than something like this, but I don't think it feels quite as nice. So if you want the nice leather, but more protective, this is something to consider, but it's not my favorite style. I'm, I'm very minimalist design heavy. This, it looks really nice, but it just doesn't feel quite as nice as a full leather wrapped case. This is pretty cool. So this is the Re Classic case and it's using all plant-based materials in its design. So no leather, but it actually kind of feels like leather on the outside. So this whole top here is textured, feels really nice in the hand, and it completely even wraps the buttons. Sometimes it makes them feel a little bit squishy, but I think overall, like they've done a good job because the fabric is nice and thin around those buttons. So it's still easy to press them, whether it's the action button, side button, anything like that. The bottom is smooth, giving it just like kind of like this two-tone pattern. I like the color of this one. It's like this sage green. It looks great in my opinion. Um, and I just love like the eco-friendly nature of all this by using all those plant-based materials and the design of this. They're saying six feet of drop protection here, but of course your mileage will always vary. One last thing I want to show off. You can pick up one of these from Native Union, which comes with this little piece here and this strap. The little strap goes inside of the phone case and then this can clip right here at the bottom. Boom, just like that, you get a strap on your phone. This is really slim and it'll fold away so you still have full access to that USB-C port even though that shim is in there. I love this, these are great straps and I actually got some extra and I put them on like my cameras and stuff. Really nice soft like rope, I, I just like these. I like the colors of them, there's a bunch of different colors pretty minimalistic. These are really fun and nice and just an easy way to add a strap just by popping it out of that USB-C port. I mean, you could use this with other cases too, but yeah, full support for that USB-C port. Uh, while in use, add a little lanyard there. This is cool. Alongside the regular Re Classic case is the Re Clear case. So it uses 100% recycled plastics in this and it supports MagSafe. So another <laughs> nice one here from Native Union, slips right on, looks great, should not yellow over time, 10 feet of drop protection, using recycled materials. Three phone cases from Bellroy. The first case is the standard Bellroy phone case. So because Bellroy is a certified B Corporation, they do things nice like including recycled materials in the actual plastic and then they have eco tanned leather here on the outside. The leather does wrap all the way around, but then there is TPU on the top and bottom, super minimalistic and on this color, you don't even notice it, but that allows it to have more drop protection compared to a full leather case because it just has a little bit more impact protection on those corners and should it fall on those corners, isn't as likely to like scuff up your leather, which is always a problem with Apple's one. MagSafe is in here, physical buttons. The downside here, action button. It is a little bit of a well. It's a little bit tough to uh, hit, I'll be honest with you guys. But Bellroy does say they have a new version of this launching uh, very soon, or is out now, that will incorporate a physical action button. So if you like this style case, maybe hold off just for a hot second until they have the new version with the action button included. The case that I recommend to a lot of people though from Bellroy is their mod phone case plus the wallet. So here's the phone case and it's honestly the identical design of their standard phone case, but you see we have this bar down here at the bottom. So what does that bar do? Let me show you. 
you can pick up this, or it comes with this, which is their wallet. So this has a corresponding little bar at the bottom that fits right in there. So compared to a standard MagSafe wallet, this one does not come off easily. So full MagSafe support on here, take off your wallet whenever you need to, just pops right off. But while it's on your phone, it's going to stay a whole lot more secure. This is a brilliant idea from Bellaroy. And the wallet, very easy to access, so it's on my phone. I can just open it with one hand, pull my cards out. I've used a Bellaroy wallet for a long time on my phone. This is as smooth as it gets. Uh, very easy to hold cards in there. I believe it'll hold like two or three cards inside of this wallet pretty easily. Still lots of drop protection. New version though coming with that action button covered. Finally, this is the Bellroy Phone Case 3 card. So what this has done is use your standard Bellroy case with a lovely eco tan leather on the outside, nice blue color to it. Very slim and minimalistic case, but we have a little pocket here on the back. This opens up just as the wallet does, and you can store three cards right in the back of your phone. So no need to remove or lose anything, just everything completely self-contained wallet right there. Very cool. I like it. The only problem is no MagSafe support here, um, just because that extra thickness to it. So keep that in mind uh, if you're concerning this one, but there's definitely pros to both, right? You don't wanna have to worry about losing your wallet or leaving it behind. This one, you can't use MagSafe. So it depends on your lifestyle and preference, but Bellroy has you covered between like literally a standard phone case, one with a special wallet, and then one with an integrated wallet. So you've got options with Bellroy. Leather and non-leather cases from Nomad. Kicking off the Nomad cases is their sport case. So it comes in several different colors. This is just the bright white version. They just call it white, clever name. Very recessed side, so they are concave, which gives it more grip than your typical case. So TPU edges here. they are metal buttons, very nicely done, anodized, kind of like the space black color to match, including one there for the action button. These people have been claiming, and I agree, that are some of the best buttons around, like super duper tactile when you press them. Like they feel like you're pressing the actual buttons. So great job, Nomad, on the buttons on these cases. Even the side button has like a ribbed texture to it. That's even cool as well. Uh, raised lip around the camera bump. There's concave size I mentioned. A little bit of a tight fit here at the bottom for the USB port. It's a little on the slimmer side. So not my favorite there, but uh, it'll always depend on those cables. This is the sport case from Nomad. Uh, oh, and yeah, uh, MagSafe support here on the back. The rugged case from Nomad. This is the ultra orange and this is the Atlantic blue. Very rugged, durable cases. So very kind of matte finish on the back. This is the blue one, as I said. Super beefy corners. I mean, there's just like a ton of added bulk here to help for impact protection. So all the corners are beefed up on the outside as well, even on the inside, like they have these air channel pockets that go all the way around, uh, similar to what I've seen like on the spec cases and a few others. Similar ribbed power button or side button here on the one side and metal buttons on the other side, what we saw before. Uh, I do love this orange though. I mean, this is so cool. If you've got like an uh, Apple Watch Ultra that you're rocking, this is gonna go great with that. Looks fantastic. I love even like the bright orange side button here matches. The other ones are just the space gray kind of black color. But yeah, this one, it looks so cool. I love that bright orange button just like on the side of the Apple Watch Ultra. So the rugged case from Nomad. Moving on to the leather side of things, this is the modern case. So these are two different colors. This is English tan that I am in love with, and this is rustic brown. Not only are they two different colors, they're actually two different types of leather. So the English tan one here, this is what Nomad is calling just like their standard leather case, just regular leather. And it's not going to show as much distressing over time. It's a little bit more treated, um, has a little bit more of like, almost like a plasticky feel on the outside of the leather. It'll still show somewhere, but it's gonna maintain most of its original look. Uh, then the other version of the case uses Horween leather, which is actually sourced from in Chicago, and it's a much more kind of natural feeling leather. 
this is going to age much more as you use it. So this is gonna show more wear marks to it. This is what I love. So I love the English tan look, but I love the Horween leather and I love how much it wears, how much it gets a patina, and it really kind of envelops your usage and lifestyle uh, just in the case itself. So this is the one that I will always buy, Horween leather, even if it's a little bit more expensive, but they do have many of the same colors and styles in the standard regular leather too. Button here, metal buttons, ribbed ones on the side for the side button, all down the side, including the action button there. So all that kind of standard stuff. Not a full leather wrap on these guys, so leather on the back and then TPU sides. Also an option is the Nomad Modern Folio. So still opens up. Great looking folio here uh, in terms of design and style. Very slim, minimalistic. It's literally like your exact same modern case, but with this flap that wraps around for the front. So here you're gonna have a few different card slots. So three slots total going down to so maybe like an ID at the bottom, credit and debit, then an internal pocket that you can use for cash, other cards, etc. But what's unique about Nomad here that they have done is they have included this little strap type thing uh, it's on this card and it comes out and you feed this through the inside of the case it's awkward to do as all get out when I'm trying to show it on camera there it is it comes at the side of the case and gives you a strap for the folio so if you want that extra security you can put that strap on if you don't need that you can just don't put it in and you'll never even notice that little slot on the side, that little opening, you'll never even see it. So I love this cool modularity with the Modern Folio from Nomad. Two cases for Moment. I'm always a fan of the Moment cases. I mean, they're simple and they get the jobs done. So this is red clay, this is olive green. Really cool colorways, these patterns down the back, simple sides. We actually have, do have metal buttons on them, so anodized metal to match. Uh, there is a cutout for the action button, which is a little disappointing, gotta reach in there and do it, but then you can see it kind of recesses down, so it's not as much of a deep dive in there, so it is easy to press them. Here it is on my, uh, my phone itself, color buttons to match, but yeah, e really easy to press this, like it's very shallow there, so super easy to get to that action button. MagSafe support here, and these rings at the top, these pop out so you can remove these and swap it with uh, one for Moment's mounting system for its lenses. Moment has a whole new series of lenses out for its phones. Like this is my 58 millimeter lens and you can attach this basically to the primary lens or to the telephoto lens and give yourself more options. So these are really awesome. I love all of their glass that they sell, um, but you can just attach these seamlessly to the Moment cases if you just pick up that little lens insert at checkout. Aramid fiber cases from Pataka. First out, shout out for eco-friendly causes, Pataka Care. These are all biodegradable materials in their packaging. So when you open up the uh, outer exterior, you're left with this like paper case on the inside. That's actually really nice and feels still like kind of like a premium case, but it's all just biodegradable, plastic-free casing. So this is awesome. This is the thin and light case, super, super slim, minimalistic, and they do these weavings on the back out of those Aramid fibers to give cool patterns and texture to them. So you can see this one here. I love the look of it. I've seen so many cool cases from them, so it doesn't surprise me how awesome this looks. Very, very slim. You can see we have access to all the buttons down one side, access to the side button the other, full access to ports there at the bottom. Love it. Lots of protection around the camera bumps, extra raised edges there. Uh, this is cool. This is the thin and light case from Pataka. The second case is their slim yet protective case. So a little bit more coverage in terms of the case. So you can see we have buttons down the side now, all covered, the bottom all covered, but a massive cut out there. This should be really easy to connect your cables to. Coverage here on the side still bumps up more even around the camera. So a little bit more of a beefy case, a little bit more protection, still uses Aramid fiber on the back. It's a little bit smoother than the texture is on the thin one. But yeah, just a little bit more of a beefy version. Still has that carbon fiber, aramid fiber look there on the back. The latest generation of the 12 South book book. 
These cases come out like clockwork. As sure as we are that Apple releases a new phone every year, you can be sure that 12 South is gonna release a new version of its popular BookBook series. So this is the one for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. You can see we have the new style down the spine. They have a new Stein style for each one. There are those out there that collect these and have them all lined up from the original one they released uh, that all just feature slightly updated spines. These are handmade, genuine leather cases. They call it a three-in-one, and I'll show you why. Of course, first, it's a case. It protects your phone on the inside. The second thing is it's a wallet. So here on the front, like other folios, we have our card slots one, two, three, four on this version, which includes your ID here at the bottom. Then there is a pocket at the bottom to add your additional stuff that you gotta store as you're going around. The phone case is also removable, so you can pull that off, ditch this, set this to the side, and use your MagSafe compatible iPhone case with extra mags in here that help it hold onto the folio nice and securely. Really cool case, just leather there on the back, just like the rest of it. TPU sides, metal buttons there, cut out for the action button, which is not my favorite. Uh, as I've said before, it's a little deep, a little bit hard to press. So this is not my favorite, but I'm sure they will update this. The new version, now that the action button, of course, has been made official. Finally, the book book can act as a stand. It pivots out like that, so you can see the phone screen, watch your favorite show, especially if you're using this for travel. You can prop this up on the plane and watch something on your seat. Really easy to do, and of course when you're done, fold it all right back up. There is a lanyard spot on that lower right side, so you can attach a lanyard there if you'd like to. This is the newest generation of book book from 12 South. Another of my favorite cases, this is one from Banks. So they're using officially certified Kevlar and the makeup of this case goes all down the back, which gives a slight like texture to it that I like. The sides feel velvety smooth and the way they transition from the sides to the back is effortless. There's no like seam going on. I think this one just looks amazing. We do have buttons all down the side, including for that action button, which has a nice little orange dot on it. Then we have our side button here. Everything about this case is very nice. The downside, slightly smaller port here at the bottom. I do think it's a little tight with some of the chunkier cables that I've been testing, but overall, one of my favorites. Metal ring around the camera, always a nice touch there. MagSafe support, and as a benefit, they offer screen protectors. Really nice setup here with a screen protection kit. Gives you everything that you need to install these. Tempered glass, I'd always recommend tempered glass ones. Don't buy any like the plastic ones. Always go glass. So if you're picking up a bank's case, maybe add in a tempered glass screen protection as well. Clear case from Totally. Totally is known for its incredibly thin, minimalistic cases, and that's what this is. So this is their version of a clear case, and it's a soft, flexible material. You can't even like tell that this is on my phone for the most part. They do have a cutout for the side. I wish it would have had a physical button, but other than that, this is a great case to add on top of your phone. They also have thin plastic ones, like just like almost like skin-like that fit just perfectly around your phone to protect it from minor scrapes and scratches, everything like that. Um, but maybe not as much drop protection as an actual case would. But this is their clear one and I think it's really nice. A trio of cases from Moft. It's technically four cases, but I have three versions of the Moft snap case with what they're calling Movis, which is a proprietary material on the outside. So this is a leather-like material that feels incredible. Like, I love the feeling of this compared to other fake leathers that I've kind of seen. So it has a similar leather-like feel to it, but it is all kind of just engineered. The inside looks great, microfiber lining. They do include a little spot at the bottom that works with a lanyard that you can put it in, similar to the other one I showed off uh, in this video. Goes on amazingly well, easily one of my favorite cases this year. Uh, I love the colors, there's like a sage green color, we have like an off white color, and then we have the all black one that I kind of showed at the beginning there. All of these very, very nice soft touch Mobis leather. They say three feet of drop protection because it's such a slim case, but I go caseless a lot of times, so it just depends on how protective that you want to be with your phone. I, I love this, these are super, super cool. The alternative is their clear case, so the Moft Snap case, clear, magnetically enhanced. You can see with the MagSafe there, say it's not gonna yellow, buttons here. You do have to press in for the action button. It's easy enough to do, not the deepest well that I've seen, but of course I'm always gonna prefer an actual button there. So yeah, this is the clear case from Moft, but I love their other snap cases with that Movis faux leather. 
new cases, and a screen protector from ESR. This is the ESR soft case. Feels very nice. Soft touch, silicone finish, MagSafe magnet there on the back. They say this is one of the strongest available, and they even have like this like dark ring to it, so you can see where that MagSafe placement is. Silicone all around, so you have it on the outside, but this is a really just cloud-like silicone feel. Then, the ring here around the camera, this actually pops out. If you can see that, and it turns it into a stand. So wherever you go, you have a built-in iPhone stand with you. When you're done, you just close it up. There you go. Built-in stand to this, so you have full MagSafe support, but a kickstand, very, very cool. If you're looking for more tough protection, this is their tough case with the ring stand or the camera stand, stash stand. So it still pulls out around the camera there, but it's a fully enveloped case, includes a screen protector on the front, completely snaps around your phone, much more protection. They say five layer defense, well exceed the military grade drop protection standard, just fully enveloped case. You do have to even move this to get access to the port there at the bottom. Cool cases from ESR. As I mentioned, ESR does make a tempered glass screen protector, and this version even comes with rings for your camera, so you can protect it that way as well. Um, but these are cool. They have a really easy to install system. They just kind of slot it in, clean it up, put it on. Great, easy to install from ESR. Here's a stylish case from Velvet Caviar. Despite the box being just white, this is a styled case, so they have a ton of different prints that you can pick up for your phone. This is like a cheetah or leopard print. Don't quiz me, I don't know the difference between the two, but that's what we're looking at here. You can see we have that pattern all down, easy access to the buttons, including action button there, full coverage around the camera, even coverage here along the bottom. It's a little bit of a two-tone look, so the light is a little, the back is a little lighter than the sides, but I like the look of this one. This is a very nice looking case here from Velvet Caviar. We've got to talk about them, don't we? It's Apple's fine woven cases. So these come in several different colors. There's like a blackish version here. It's kind of like a dark gray almost, but like a black version. There's like this midnight or Pacific blue color here. We have this tan color. That's an option. There is mulberry, which is like a purplish wine maroon color. Finally, the one that I prefer and that I've used quite a lot is Apple's green one here. It's like a forest green color. These still don't hold up great, I don't think. I mean, they're fine cases, but I'm just gonna miss the leather ones a whole lot. Apple does do nice touches, so there is elevated ring on the camera, though it's plastic. We do have anodized metal buttons to match, which is not something you see on every case, so that is nice to see that Apple still does it. And they include different colors, like the mulberry one. They're like purplish to match the case, same with like the tan and the blue. They all have their appropriate metal buttons to match the cases, so that's a nice touch. But otherwise, these just are not my favorite cases, um, which is unfortunate. Leather cases from Alto. I have all five of Alto's cases here, and honestly, I, I, these are some of my favorites year and year again. So let's look at them. A few different colors, so like this black colorway, sleek, fantastic. We have a gray one, also looks very nice. This has always been one of my go-tos. They call this caramel, and I have an Apple Watch band from them that I, I still, years later, get asked about because it, it, the color looks so cool. So caramel color, there's a green colorway, and then a pink one that is also a little more on the feminine side. But all of these look super cool, and I would rock on my phone. So let's go ahead and slide one of these on. Let's go with this caramel color because I hyped it up a bit. Everything fits on fantastically. Nomad has many little touches to their cases. So the inside, microfiber lining, as you'd expect, full uh, MagSafe support here. Magnets hold onto it great. We have metal anodized buttons that are colorized to match, so anodized to match the color of the case themselves. They do have an action button there. One of the few that came out with these at launch. Of course, we have the side button here. Just works as it should. Very tactile, feel great on the phone. We have an elevated plastic ring around the camera bump to help protect it when it is face down like that on the table. Other than that, these are just wonderful cases. A little small here on the USB-C port. I think that's a little bit of a negative to some of these cases that we keep seeing. Um, Apple's lightning cables were just so crazy thin and now some of these MagSafe ones or these uh, USB-C ones just get a little chunky. And on certain cases, they can be tight. So make sure, as always, check that out. But yes, Italian aniline dyed leather cases come in great colors from Alto. Two cases from Pila. Pila, uh, they have such a spot in my heart. I cannot talk about these cases enough, like all the positives about them. But they basically developed this material that is out 
standing. So it's kind of like a silicone type case, but it is all completely biodegradable. I mean, what you're seeing here is like you made up from recycled materials and everything, and then can just go into a composter and turn into dirt in a very expeditious period of time. It is amazing what they've been able to do. So they've been coming out with all these great patterns. This one, dance until we're dead, which is just fun. I love it. A kooky little skeleton there on the back. Um, but they've got so many different ones that are like very outdoors inspired, very adventure -y. I love these cases so much. Um, we do have a button here on the side for the action button. It's not, sorry, we have a cutout for the action button. It's not super easy to press, but again, as always, expecting a new version of these with that. Um, pretty good space here at the bottom. Not the best, not the worst in terms of USB-C port coverage. Now the one downside I will give about these cases that bums me out and hurts my heart the littlest bit is with MagSafe. So actually each of these cases come with like a cutout here inside of the case and they sell these add-on MagSafe modules for a very small amount of money. And these basically will adhere inside of the case and boom, you've got MagSafe on your case. And then when you are done with your case, you can just peel out the magnets, toss this and use this again in your next case. Great idea, keeps it eco-friendly, reusable magnets here. The downside is I found that it's not the strongest MagSafe connection, uh, especially like a car mount, it would still tumble when I hit a bump. So like inside mounting like to charge, it seems to work okay, but like in the car, I don't trust this MagSafe. It's probably just because this material is too thick, I guess, um, but that is the downside with these. So if you're a, like a steadfast MagSafe user, Maybe keep holding off on uh, Pila for another year, see if they evolve that a little bit, can make that MagSafe module go a little bit closer to the outside. Uh, it is an option, just depends on your habits. The second case for them to check out is their newer one. This is their clear case. So still a lot of the similar benefits, but in a clear design. So we have that same material around the edges, but with a clear back. And it's a wonderfully beautiful print on this one um, with a bunch of like fern leaves and cotton, like stuff like that. Like it just looks really cool and pretty. I love this a lot. No MagSafe on these ones. So again, watch out for that uh, if that's a, a deal breaker for you. But otherwise, beautiful, eco-friendly cases from Pila. Apple also makes some silicone cases. There are eight colors of Apple silicone case here. And this year I actually like these a little bit more than the fine woven since there is no leather. These fit on very easily, super soft touch silicone on the outside, though they do tend to grab lint a little bit. I don't tend to like silicone because when you have it in your pocket and you try to pull it out, it kind of like holds onto your pocket a bit. I've dropped things because like something like cash or card could get stuck to the back of this and come out with my phone from my pocket. So remember that when considering a silicone case, but apples are just, are lovely. So darkened Apple logos on the back of all of these. We have hard coverage on all the buttons, very easy to press with that soft touch silicone side button there. Coverage on the bottom as well. Plenty of room, I think, on these ports. Um, well, I don't know, That's it's not super big actually. So a little tight on the, the cutouts here, but these were available since launch. I know a lot of people picked these up that kind of like pinkish version. This is like a light orange tangerine color, very soft pink. It's almost white in some light. Uh, we've got a light blue and a dark blue. I like both of these a lot though. I lean towards the darker one of the two. We got a black, if you want just standard black. Then we have a dark green and like a dark gray color. I'm, I'm not gonna look all these up while I'm doing the video here, uh, but you can at least see what they kind of look like in person. Apple's got some solid cases and these have that cool effect like when you place them on your phone where the screen lights up. Let's see if we can uh, replicate it one time real quick. So take the phone case off. So you take the phone, take the case, put the case on. It's got this cool animation to match. Only Apple's cases do that. Um, but you see it once and you're, and you're done, but just a, a nice little touch. STM Goods and their XD glass screen protector. I have checked a lot of their chargers in their bags that I've been big fans of. So this tempered glass screen protector, um, they say it has naked phone sensitivity, so it's really responsive when you're using this with your phone on there. Small little cutout towards the top where your actual earpiece is. By the way, it's really nice screen protectors. They are two meter drop protected. I like screen protectors, so this is just another one I wanted to mention. This is a whole kit of a case for MagEasy. This is basically a modular phone case. So check this out. So here's the phone case itself, 
clear back, very nice, thin, minimalistic. Let's slot our phone in here. Everything goes in great. Now you can see we have these really nice bumpers towards the top. So that's going to give you good drop protection should you drop your phone. But on the bottom, we have these little anchors that allow it to attach to this lanyard or this strap, whatever you want to call it, um, in the box. So this gives you that strap here that you can put around your neck, over your shoulders, kind of wear it like a bag. It's got like aluminum around like the back here. It just feels like a very nice, solid protective case. And I love that it has these anchors, but not everyone wants those. So what you can do, pop out your phone case, by the way, rated for 16 feet of drop protection, 4.8 meters. Uh, these little pieces in the bottom, they actually pop out. This peels back and you can pull these, boom, right out. I've removed this from the case and they have replacement corners that you can put in. So instead of this, you can put in one of the bumper corners or two of the bumper corners. Hey, you can leave one, attach a lanyard to this one and put a bumper corner over here. Uh, but you've got options in what you do. So you can literally change this case based on your usage for it. These are a little finicky to get in, not gonna lie, not gonna try to finish it off here on camera. Uh, but you can swap these out for bumpers. You have options, really cool case from MagEasy. The up row case from Taurus. It kind of just sounds like the uh-oh case if Scooby-Doo said it. Sorry. Here it is, sleek, minimalist case, frosted back with gray accents around it. Looks pretty darn cool. Let's take our phone, pop it inside, and I'll show you a cool trick about it. So it goes on. It feels like a really nice secure grip there. We have metal buttons here on the side, so anodized aluminum to match. Same thing over here, action button. We're getting one on this case. So here you can see we have MagSafe, but it's not just MagSafe. This pops out just like that. And now we have a kickstand. How cool is that? We've seen them around the camera. Now we're seeing one right here in the middle with the MagSafe module itself just popping out. Brilliant. It can even go vertical, which you cannot do with the one around the camera bump. So vertical here, easy to prop this thing up. Looks great. Very cool case from Taurus, the up row case. I've got two cases from Surfy. So here's the first one from Surfy. Looks super nice, very nice coated interior, including the sides with microfiber. So then this goes on, compared to a lot of the others that go a ring around the cameras, this actually like slots in between all the camera modules to help with more protection. I think that looks pretty cool and you don't see it too often. So that looks neat there. Full coverage on all the things, buttons on the side, action button, bottom, plenty of space there. Now, let me show you another cool trick with this one. So it actually comes with this guy, a little lanyard, pops in on the side here, lower uh, right side when you're looking at the phone, easily goes into place there, color matched with your phone. I love that they include this in the box. They don't just like allow you to support one, but it actually includes one with the phone case itself. As an added benefit with this version of the case, look at this. We have two tempered glass screen protectors, our dust absorbers, our microfiber cloth, and stickers. Of course we get stickers. I love it, I love stickers, okay? So yeah, screen protector with this version of the case. So Surfy actually does sell two different versions of their cases. So this one does not support MagSafe, but fortunately, the second one I have does. So this one, just a black colorway. They all come in a bunch of fun colors, but this one does support MagSafe. Otherwise, same thing, great fit, great around the camera bumps, actually gives a little bit like more ridges around this version of it. And you still get the little pouch here inside of the box that includes all those extra goodies. So we have our stickers, dust removal, stickers, um, cleaning cloth, and those two screen protectors. So all the other stuff inside of here as well, but this one supports MagSafe, so be sure to pick out the correct version when you're picking up your case. The Influence case from Catalyst. And it includes the actual lanyard. Not all of them do, as I've said, so it's nice that this is included inside of the box. So here's the Influence case from Catalyst. Clear frosted back, you can see the Apple logo, the MagSafe ring, so you know it's MagSafe compatible. Harder exterior with this clear back, two-tone look, so it's like a frosted blue and then a darker blue around the sides. And we have uh, color match buttons, big cutout for the action button. Uh, it, it's very easy to press this one because of how deep that cutout is, but I would still prefer an actual button there. 
Again, always watch out for new versions dropping. Uh, it'll probably be around now that we're gonna start to see updated versions of many of these cases adding that new action button to the side. Uh, other things on the bottom, we do have two anchor spots if you wanna attach a lanyard. And the cool thing about this case though, is right here at the bottom, you can see the speaker ports kind of lining up there. They're actually facing forward. They're routing the audio forward on this case and they're saying you get up to two and a half times more volume out of your iPhone because they route the audio forward. So you see the microphone still down um, there on the side, but the audio otherwise is routed forward and facing you. So when you're holding your phone, the audio is, is blasting you and giving you louder audio that way. So really cool trick here on the influence case from Catalyst. Three from Bodyguards. This is so crazy. So this is the Paradigm Pro case from Bodyguards. Uh, max safe support there. It's got this cool look to it, but what is awesome is this part here on the inside. This is wild, folks. Uh, you just have to believe me right here. This is a cooling technology. They're EnduraCore temperature protection that helps reduce the temperature on your phone by actually acting as like an additional heat sink. And when I took this out of the box, and we're in the studio, things are kind of warm, I pulled it and I touched it. This is cold, this is cold right now, uh, just in the box. It's crazy how that works. And there are also vents down the side here. I don't know if you can see them on camera. Oh, for a second, you can kind of see the color come through, but it allows for more airflow inside of this case. This is very neat. So they say it, it has different benefits depending on what you're doing. They're touting it'll add like three and a half hours of, of video streaming, which is one of the things that'll heat up your phone quite a bit. I imagine this also has benefits for gaming. So if you're gaming on this a lot, gonna help reduce that temperature. Built-in lanyard, it's removable if you want to. Otherwise, hole at the bottom. They actually route audio forward too, just like the Catalyst one, do it look slightly different how they're doing it. We don't have a button for the action button, it's still just a cutout, but easy to press on this model. Uh, not too big of a well, easy to get your finger in there. But this is very cool, the Paradigm Pro case from Bodyguards. This is the Ace Pro case. This gives you 18 feet of drop protection, soft touch exterior, added grips down the sides. This looks pretty cool, but I wanna show my favorite one of them, which is the Carved with MagSafe case. This is the Carved case, which has a unique marbled pattern on every single one that they produce. Just like the other two cases, has a lanyard included, removable if you don't want it, but I think these look amazing. This is a cool water texture to it. Uh, div divots here on the side, adds extra drop protection or grip so you won't drop it in the first place. These look cool, massive compatible, slightly less drop protection on this one, only 16 feet compared to 18 feet on the Ace Pro, but I love the look of this one more. Bodyguards also has what they call the last screen protector you'll ever need. Super duper thin, use their crystal core technology for added strength, very, very thin, edge to edge design and antimicrobial. I do like their cases, uh, their, their screen protectors quite a bit, so uh, consider this guy. Zag, out here again. So first up, as always, Invisible Shield. Their screen protectors are always amazing, top of the list for many, many people. Um, Anti-glare on this model, though they have various versions of them with all sorts of stuff, including antimicrobial coatings. Um, but I've used these for very many years, just the latest generation of screen protectors for iPhone. Then we have the Zag case that we're also checking out. This one has a built-in kickstand here at the bottom. Cool, useful feature. It'll allow you to prop up your phone in both directions. So here it is on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. This pops out like that. Prop it up this way for a FaceTime call. Honestly, I, I even open the camera and it's very well situated. And then you can go this way too if you're watching video. Great for plane rides, travel, anything like that. To use your phone sideways, even plug it in and use this in like nightstand mode or a standby mode. Very cool. I like that built in. And it also works with MagSafe. There is MagSafe magnets here despite having like a ridged textured back. Still works with MagSafe. Three cases from Smartish. So first up is Wallet Slayer. This is Wallet Slayer Volume 1. Here we have basically an integrated wallet into the back of your phone, easily allows cards to go in and out just like that. And there's actually tension in there that keeps them firm. So whether you're putting in one or putting in up to three cards, it'll hold them all secure. Very nice, gives this tapered feel to it to completely cover the camera bump here at the top. 
covers up the bottom nice and well. Big opening there for the, uh, the USB-C port. And we do have an action button covered there on the side. Very nice to have that covered. So after the wallet slayer, the next one to check out is Gripzilla. This too supports MagSafe. So the first one does not support MagSafe because it is thicker. This one does support MagSafe. You can see here the biggest thing for it is these grips down the side. Huge divots that just feel very nice. Um, but it's also a nice and thin case. I like this one. Very protective. Just cool, really durable here. You can see around the corners they've added these big old bumps. So more of a protective case. So like this is like their, their high end of the protective uh, the protective grips and then for still grip but not quite as big we have the smaller one the grip monk so grip monk is the lighter version gripzilla is the the bulky version this has cool pattern also printed on the back that i like it looks super nice super cool uh printed on there but still grips down the side so it gives you good grip but in a slimmer profile compared to the gripzilla this is grip monk gripzilla and the Wallet Slayer Volume 1 from Smartish. This case is from Magback. What's unique about this case is not only does it support MagSafe, but it supports something called their MagStick. They have been using magnets long before Apple came out with MagSafe. So let's go ahead and put it onto our phone here. This is a nice soft touch case. It feels good, very slim fit. Feels you know, quite protective for a slim case, but I love that not only with him MagSafe, but this guy here, their mag stick. So this can attach here towards the bottom and it is a, it is a very strong magnet. Um, but there's also one here at the top. So you can mount this on your wall, in your car, in your shower, wherever you wanna put it, mount it, and it's gonna hold your phone super duper well. I mean, it's, it's crazy how well this holds your phone. Um, let's see, does it have it on the sides? Yeah, they're right there, right there. You can even hold your phone sideways with this. So they say there's 22 magnets in the back of your phone uh, that will support this guy in both sideways orientations. It'll go bottom and top. So literally hold your phone every which way with this mag stick. And there's even a second adhesive included in the box. So if you ever wanted to change your mind about where this is placed, you can just pull it off with that 3M adhesive and put a new one on and put it into a secondary location. You can also pick up more of these if you wanted to, but really nice to support full MagSafe and MagStick. Really unique case from MagBack. M-A-B-B-A-K, by the way. There's no C. Rugged case from Rockform. So here it is, the Rockform Rugged case. It's got a couple unique aspects to it. First, very durable, rigid, protective case. We do a full cutout here on the side for the, the action button. It's shallow, so I don't mind it, but want buttons, people. Uh, we have protection here at the bottom, spots for lanyard anchors if we want to attach those, and our phone slots in really easily. But before I put my phone in, I want to show you this part here in the center. So this is their twist and lock functionality. So this piece comes right out, and you're left with a hole on the back of your iPhone case. So then you can take your phone case and go up to any rock form accessory that supports this twist and lock functionality and just plop your phone right in. This is a much more durable and stronger connection than just a MagSafe. So it supports regular MagSafe, but it also supports the whole line of rock form mounting accessories. So on your motorcycle, your bike, um, exercise equipment, whatever you wanna do, you stick your phone twist to lock it in to any of the rock form mounting accessories. Really cool, really nice, more options. Still a really durable case and supports MagSafe, so you can still do any MagSafe accessory, but just this extra degree of functionality, and then boom, you pop that right back in. When you don't need it, you're good to go. Belkin, they offer the Ultra Glass 2 screen protector, and uh, if you haven't seen this, this is probably one of the few that are offered in Apple stores, and they have this whole application process. So you can buy these by themselves, like from Belkin, and go that way, or you can go through the Apple store and they have a special machine that you put your phone in and like cranks down and like perfectly installs it. So if you're, especially if you're buying a phone at the Apple store, you can have this put on right there at the time of purchase and it'll be 
immaculate. So really cool to do that way, or you can pick them up and do an easy install process yourself. But yeah, so this is the Ultra Glass 2 screen protector from Belkin. We're gonna try to go through all of these, but these are various cases from Amaze Things. Starting out basic, this is the Amazing Thing Titan Age magnetic case. 15 feet of drop protection, but they also say three times the magnetic strength compared to just your iPhone. So slots on like that, this is a little bit like a darker, like a, like a, a dark gray, bulbous edges here on the corners for that drop protection, easy to access all the buttons, and we do have a button for the action button. Next up from Amazing Thing is their Titan Pro Magnetic Case. So this has the Defend Edge 3 lens protection frame. So basically just a more robust coverage around the camera bump there. I also love the colors on this one. It's like a dark blue with the clear. So 10 feet of drop protection on this model, but a big old ring there around the cameras, accents for the MagSafe mount there. We have a button there for action button. This also comes in a second colorway that they sent me. So you can check out this one, which is clear on the back with black. So clear and black or this uh, clear and dark blue <clears throat> plus antimicrobial properties too. So lots of things going in to the Titan Pro magnetic case. So this is the Titan Pro Mag, which is basically what we had just looked at. So the Titan Pro Mag, again, same colors and everything, but this version comes with a grip ring. So this is the Titan Pro Mag grip ring set. So this pops out here for all sorts of fun things. So you can use it as, you know, a kickstand, boom, even a higher kickstand if you put that out. So a more steep angle on it that completely folds flat and you can pull this off just to use MagSafe if you want. Um, and when this is on there, you could put your finger inside. So you have a grip that way. You can change the orientation on it so it can swivel around wherever you are to give you that extra grip that you may like on your phone. And since it kind of just is so modular like that, it'll even work uh, vertically. So boom, you got it working that way too. So very cool how this all folds together. Uh, just this extra grip ring added to their magnetic case. So from Amazing Thing, Titan Pro Mag, the grip ring set. Two comes in separate colorway. That's the blue version again, but there's also a white version, like a silver version, if you like that better. This is the Titan Pro Mag drop proof case. So big bulky thing around the lens, good drop protection, 10 feet, but this comes out the back. So you can use this as a stand this way. Honestly, I prefer the ring version. This is cool and gives you even more grip. That's why they call it like drop proof because you can fit half your fingers in here to hold it even more securely than you would otherwise. But I, I like the ring. This does lose MagSafe support. That's the downside. This is a black version. There's also the blue version that you guys know by now that I'm uh, kind of partial to. It doesn't look like blue too much, but yeah, this is the, the blue version. Last case here from Amazing Things. Still, we got this Titan Pro Mag case as your core, your core part, but this one adds on a wallet. So you can see here, MagSafe enabled wallet. Boom, pops right there on the back of your phone. And man, that is a strong magnetic hold, I will say. Like it's, that is on there quite well. This is not going anywhere. So wallet, built-in kickstand support, boom, goes that way, goes sideways. So you have your grip added at the same time, but you have MagSafe and you have the wallet. It'll support multiple cards. There's a good outlet here at the top where you can see your cards uh, and pull them out. And they even include a little RFID protector. So if you're worried about that, there is a little shim that you can put in this case to help protect your information. But yeah, this goes on there really well. And you have grip, like just lots of things built into this. This is the cool one, uh, Titan Pro Mag plus the wallet set. Don't like the dark one? That's cool. There's a white silver version too. Finally, Amazing Things also offers screen protectors and they offer different ones, which is pretty sweet. So first is their Supreme Privacy Shield. So this is the one where like, you're looking straight on, you can see your information, but when you tilt, you can't see what's on your phone. So really great to prevent prying eyes if you're on like subway systems or you're worried about your passcode or information, uh, really cool to consider. Then there is the full glass version, your standard screen protector. That's what this is, really easy to put on. I've used these on a couple of my phones in the past. Finally, they're matte glass, so anti-reflective properties on this one. I also like how they put that black border around makes it blend into your phone even more. Got a few cases from Vina. 
This looks slick. This is the dark blue magnetic ring case. So we do have metal around the camera module, which is fantastic. All metal buttons, including the action button. And our MagSafe module here, this pivots outward. So you can see we can use that then as a stand vertically, horizontally. Not the first one we've seen that does this, but I just like how they've added these other little touches, makes it a little bit nicer. This is the commute case from Vina. The idea here is that this is your little wallet on the back of your phone so you can store your stuff with you wherever you go. Plus, this can roll up and become a stand. So great for commuters, you're flying, you're on a bus, anything like that. You just wanna keep everything together and use that extra modularity and storage on the back of your phone case, but it doesn't even look like it has a wallet on there, just this whole kind of shimmery leather looking coverage on the bottom, but otherwise protective case, a little bit on the thicker side, no MagSafe support, of course, uh, but still nice for commuters, the V commute case. Also, Vina has screen protectors, 9H hardness, they're glass screen protectors, uh, and they're very affordable. So you can add these on to any of your Vina purchases. Lastly is Case Defy. Now I debated on whether or not to include Casetify in this video because at the moment there's some controversy. Basically, Casetify has been caught using designs from dbrand on their inside out lineup. They just took them, modified them, and then reprinted them on the back of their phone cases. And that's obviously not okay. But at the same time, Casetify does have a lot of other cases that people may consider, and I didn't want to completely omit them from this video. I just want people to be aware of the current allegations and whether or not those are true, which they by all means so far seem to be true because there's little Easter eggs from dbrand showing up in Casetify's inside out cases. But thus far, Casetify has removed all those cases from sales and we'll see what happens after that. But there are also a lot of partnerships that dbrand does. They're a very visible case brand that is out there. And I didn't think it would be good to include this massive roundup and not at least touch on Casetify as a brand. So this is one of their more protective cases. Like look at these corners. They are chunky as all get out. They also have complete protection over your camera lenses. There's actual glass covering them too. So your camera lenses are also covered and they have tons of prints. So this is just this kind of neutral, swishy looking, looks like a paint mix going on. But they've also done all these different collaborations uh, with brands like The Office and all these other ones that make them very near and dear to many people out there. So whether or not you want to continue supporting Casetify, that's your decision. But I wanted to mention they at least are out there with a whole variety of cases, including ones that are super duper protective, like the one that we're showing off here. Well, that'll about do it. More than 100 cases and screen protectors for Apple's iPhone 15 Pro Max.